welcome everyone. It's glad, I'm glad I'm Tracy Hertzwood, the Deputy Director of the Sherwin Miller Museum of Jewish Art. And we're very happy to have our first in-person exhibit reception in almost two years. So woohoo! Yay! When you guys get a chance, we do have some water, we have some wine, and we have some nibbles in the back. Um, but please just don't bring it upstairs into the exhibit space um, when we go upstairs. Yeah, we're, we're, well, we're just going to sit for a minute and then we're going to go upstairs so it's not going to be very long. So um, I'm gonna, just going to introduce Michael, our curator of the museum, to just talk about Simon's work and, and all that went into doing this exhibit. And then we'll go upstairs and Simon will give a gallery talk. Michael? Thank you. Hi, everybody. Everybody hear me okay? Everybody, everybody wave at Facebook Live. We are live on Facebook. Um, for those who didn't feel comfortable coming, we're doing a, a live show. But I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. This has been a really special exhibit to work on. And to be able to share it in person is absolutely fantastic. Um, our last opening reception uh, for a temporary show was 560 days ago. So to come together is very special to us here at the museum. Since that time, many things have happened. Obviously, we've celebrated the high holiday spice. We've opened our brand new Holocaust Center. We've welcomed new people into the staff. We have a new executive director here at the Federation. It's a wonderful time to be here on the Zaro campus and to see the changes and how we're evolving. So thank you so much for coming out tonight. Um, the museum has been working with Simon for about a year now on this exhibition. We found out about Simon from our partners at the Biblical Art Museum in Dallas, who we've partnered with for many, many years. Um, and they told us about this amazing artist who's being shown across the United States who they're gonna get in their museum, and it's something that we should look at and see if we would be interested in bringing here. And as soon as we saw and started looking at Simon's work and reached out to him and communicated, we knew this is something that our museum, the community here in Tulsa, needed to bring and share. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, Simon, although some have been calling him an up-and-coming artist, honestly, he has done so many shows. He has done group shows from 2009. He's been doing solo shows since 2017. He's in galleries and has shown in the United States, Canada, and Italy. And the potential of Simon, I think, is going to just explode. Um, I'm really happy to have him here. I can't wait to hear his talk. Um, he, his work is in private, in corporate, and permanent collections around the world, around the country. And on that note, his work is for sale. Anybody who's interested. <laughs> Facebook, his work is for sale. Just reach out to me. But when we started communicating, we talked about how we wanted to lay out the show, how we wanted to show it. And I think the partnership between Simon's artwork, our gallery, the lighting, the display, this teamwork that we put together, it was a joy to have him come in and work with our staff. It has been an amazing experience, a treasure to have, and it all comes down to this opening night. And I can't wait to see you guys interact with the artwork, to work with Simon, to ask him questions. He's an amazing artist. It's an amazing exhibition, so I want to thank everybody. What we're going to do is I'm going to steal this camera, so stay tuned. It's weird talking to you and talking to this little screen at the same time, but we're going to go upstairs. Simon's going to do an in-person gallery talk, and I welcome everybody. We have the stairs up here. We have the elevator in the back. We do ask no food or drink upstairs, but it's going to start at 6.30. That was great. Everybody looked at their watch at the exact same time. Those are beautiful, synchronized watches. Um, so please, finish up what you're doing. Get some wine, get some water. Facebook crew, I'm going to take you personally. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to chase Simon around for the next... 20, 30 minutes, however long Simon wants to talk. Um, but please ask questions. Let me know if you have any questions. Let Simon know. Simon, thank you so much for everything that you've done and to bring your artwork to Tulsa. We really appreciate it and we can't wait to hear your point of view and everything here. So thank you everybody. We'll be upstairs momentarily. We're gonna go upstairs, guys. Good. Yep. All right. 
<laughs> okay. Every, everybody follow Simon. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go upstairs. Simon's going to start his tour in about 10 minutes. So if you're following on Facebook, thank you so much. Keep watching, and we're going to flip this camera around. You're going to see everybody. There's Tracy. But thank you so much for watching. We wish you guys were here, but thanks for watching here on Facebook Live at the museum. So let's go upstairs. We're going to show you a sneak peek of our exhibit. Flip it. There we go. This is our reception. This is the main gallery. We're gonna head upstairs in a moment, guys, but appreciate everyone watching. I'll try to keep the phone as steady as possible. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it. There's a piece, one of Simon's pieces. The exhibit is here until January 2nd of 2022, so if you're not here tonight, please uh, come to the exhibit. It'll be open to the end of the year, like I said, until January. We are heading upstairs, guys. I'll try to get close to Simon when he's talking so everybody on Facebook can hear, but appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. guys are on Facebook hit a thumbs up let us know you're watching we do see the comments if you want to say where you're watching from or what you want to see I'll answer any questions that anybody has so here we are appreciate and thank all the sponsors that we have for our exhibit series in 2021 welcome to the gallery We're going to give you a sneak peek of the show and while we're still waiting for everybody to come upstairs. Appreciate the thumbs up, everybody. Simon, say hi to everybody on Facebook. Hello. This is hey, Simon. You, you. <laughs> awesome. We're going to hear from him momentarily, but let's get a quick sneak peek because this is why we have technology. <laughs> When you guys come here, not only do you get to see his artwork, but there's also a video of Simon and a video of him working amazing pieces. With the soundtrack by Frank Sinatra, because that's apparently who Simon listens to when he does his glass work. Blue Eyes himself. Also, when you come to the gallery, look up. This is the first exhibition uh, at this museum that we've ever hung anything from the ceiling. And we have approximately over 20 pieces that are hanging from the ceiling in our gallery space. That looks absolutely incredible. Most of them have a metallic uh, finish to them, but all hand bone glass. Beautiful pieces. This is part of his human series. So some of them have names like Samuel. He also does cast glass. These are some of his tower series. He's also got into mixed medium. He has a metal piece and some wood pieces on the back wall of the gallery. And speaking of which, he also has some glass and metal pieces called still life. These are some of the pieces on display. And thanks everybody for watching on Facebook, whether you're watching live or watching afterwards. Thank you so much. These are some of the pieces, some of the mirrored pieces that are also engraved, if you get the detail. Hand engraved, mirrored, all blown glass, beautiful pieces. Amazingly lightweight also.
beautiful piece called New Pattern 7. Absolutely gorgeous. Some of the detail work. Amazing. Oh, Sandy, thanks for hopping in. Coming from Grove, Oklahoma. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for hopping on the Facebook Live. These pieces are so amazing in person. They look great on camera, but in person, they're just absolutely stunning. But thanks for commenting, Sandy. Thanks for watching. The gallery talk will start here probably in about five minutes. Simon's going to talk and give us a tour. We got almost everybody coming up in the gallery. <laughs> More of his new pieces. Amazing artwork. Again, don't forget to look up when you're in the gallery. There's a cluster of five pieces up here. When you first walk in. What's great is the lighting in here goes through and you can actually get amazing reflections. We also have pictures of Simon working in the hot shop. You what? Oh, I'm just talking to you. A couple of the mirrored pieces in the very front of the gallery. Absolutely gorgeous. Larger pieces. Engraved and mirrored. Blown glass. But yeah, if you're watching, please hit us a thumbs up. Let us know you're watching. If you want to comment, I'll respond to you as best I can. So we'll get started with the gallery talk here momentarily. Thanks everybody for coming on, watching the museum. So in about two minutes. Great pieces. Great pieces. We got a great group of people here live, but we also appreciate those who are watching online. Again, the gallery is, uh, this exhibit is open until January 2nd of 2022. So we have the rest of the year to come to the museum and enjoy these pieces. Pieces are for sale. If anybody's interested, please contact the museum for prices. <laughs> but these are just amazing, gorgeous pieces. Like I said, he started working some new medium. This is uh, metal that's welded and then uh, painted. Gorgeous colors on this. And also some woodworking. This is a pedestal he's handmade. And then took the negative sections and made these gorgeous wall sculptures from the wood. Which casts beautiful shadows also. All this work lit properly just cast amazing shadows. His glass, his wood, his metal, it's something fantastic. a close-up of his cast glass. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get out of the way of the photographer. Whoop. Again, these mirrored pieces. I think we're about to start, so I'm going to Slide over, see where Simon's gonna start. Thanks again for watching everybody. Uh, Simon's about to start his gallery talk here momentarily. I think he's answering questions, <laughs> but we're about to start.
Sorry for the shaky camera guys, I'm trying to be still, but we got a lot of people and a lot of artwork to show. Great turnout. When you come to the museum, uh, obviously see masks are still required, but we still love having people come and visit and see our new exhibits. shadows and reflections, another wonderful aspect of this artwork. How we doing? This is Cloud Series. Don't say that too prematurely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, still got yeah, it. Yeah. He's still a yeah. young life. Stay away from the life. <laughs> <laughs> So, you guys want to look now or later? 
but if you look at every little grid, you'll be solving it. And this is based on a deletion technique called red double, which still repeats that hair value. And the red double is the process of pulling these two to color and then rolling them up, twisting them one direction, making it cut. And then you roll up the same amount just the opposite direction, drop the bubble on the side of the other cup, and you take out the bubble in every switch. So the bat work has practiced that a lot to make it really easy to put that tool in the front. And then that kind of led to this for me on how can I get these into the front. This is where I have two pieces right here, and then we have that one over there in the three and the back, where I'm, I'm creating bubbles in the very technical, uh, and it's all about color and color. Uh, where else can you go? We'll, we'll walk over to it. We also have these bits hanging, so definitely look above. So we have these two right here. Um, so we do it in great points. I'm thinking about the surface of the back. Do you guys need to talk louder? No. Okay. So I'm thinking about the surface of the back. Kind of like a canvas background. So I'm blowing these out to the zero point pair, and then I'm pulling the silver solution on the inside of the mirror, and then afterwards, I'm using the Dremel to Dremel out the pattern. Safety first. Safety first. The hand sanitizer is optional after. Um, yeah. So then, so, we have, we have this pandemic started by a year and a half ago. And it was kind of the first time for me in about seven years where I didn't have that studio that I was working on over there. And I started, I started kind of taking a step back and then designing things on the computer. And that kind of like this work, which then led to this class work. Where I was, I was creating these shapes and doing modeling about them with the design structures. So we'll take them behind the wood like metal, and then we have wood pieces on the wall, and then I put them on the texture. And then when I got back in the shop, I used those, those same files to then create graphite mold to create these glass structures. And one thing you see, everyone's going to touch these two, I just can't see them, I need to take them. But with these, we really decided to use because I'm all of a sudden not really limited on the scale of it. So this last one, we have, we have a piece on the pipe, and we're limited by the fish power of the river, and the content is easy. So the beans were very excited to make sure we make them all into the blue, and then stack them in another pipe. What else? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff, but if anyone has any questions about any specific region, I'm here for as long as we need. And there's a little, it looks like candy pieces on this one. Yeah. So I'm going to see. So, so one other process that I use in my work is called the marine. So similar to the cane, I'm pulling these pieces of color. And the cane will come in on what I call the pencils in the middle of the map. But the marine, you're cutting it with a quarter. So when you cut it, it will be able to stop it. So for example, one thing that I'm constantly doing when I'm making all these patterns is I play parts of them. And then with this piece, I laid out a bunch of parts and I squeeze them together to where I just kind of put them on the set. So this is something that really shows the process of helping me. Does that answer that? Yes. Yeah. Hello. This is called, you call it Palmo Vessel. So in Palmo, is the process of forming two bubbles. So with these, I'm making, I have a little cup with the marine pattern on it, and then I make a stick top, and then I stick the two together, and then I close it on the end, and then I can make the two. And it's kind of going off the, the in Palmo, is where I like to do my fingers, which are kind of doing the Palmo over there, which is where I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about the informal process of the way salt is spread and combining the two So I make the first shape and then I combine the second one and then the second one.
What are the temperatures of the glass? For yeah, those who don't know. Yeah, the glass point, so glass in the furnace is at 2100 degrees. And the glass is on about 24-7. So we're going to be working with the glass. We've got a huge amount that we turn on that running anywhere from 21 to 23 minutes. So we have, we also have a huge video of the heat of the heat. That's four of each one of the cylinders that we have. Is that a stand? That was not, yeah, everybody on Facebook, that was not a piece of glass. <laughs> Only he's allowed to do that. <laughs> That's not a museum policy, though. <laughs> Just because you guys love it doesn't mean you can juggle it. I mean, you know, 
So I'm just thinking about what you're going to do next. And then it's more of a muscle memory. I know, I know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do that. Um, one other thing to ask you, I'm going to have a picture with my grandfather. Mm-hmm. My, my grandfather passed away about a week and a half ago. Mm-hmm. He's a Holocaust survivor. And I want to get a good story. Mm-hmm. Everyone should definitely use their father. That he was a great life, and he taught a lot to my father and me, and his boys were teaching. What did he do to you? What did he do to you? He was in the world. About 80, 90 percent of the stuff he was doing. And that's something that I never left. Where I just put all my time in there, and then he was doing it, and then cut them out, and then, you know, when you think people supported me, and then focused on it, it was that he was doing it. I do want to say one more thing. One more thing. Um, Simon and I are currently working on a gallery catalog for this show. So if anybody's interested, we're going to get that out. It's a little behind schedule because of the holidays, but we will have a catalog of this show. But please, uh, so just stay in touch with the museum. But Simon, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for sharing your artwork with our community. And thank you for sharing your experiences with us. So thank you all. Thanks, Jay. Hey, everybody on Facebook, thank you so much for joining us uh, for the Simon Warren Show uh, opening. His exhibit is going to be open here at the Sherwin Miller Museum of Jewish Art in Tulsa, Oklahoma until January 2nd, 2022. So please come to the museum. We're open seven days a week. We'd love to have you out here to check out this artwork. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll catch you next time.